be cool. Alright. Maybe a smoke. Yeah, I smoke bubble before. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on guys, Freed.pd here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about frames and a frame that I've been using for a while but before I get into it I want to talk about my journey of trying out different frames. Now I've only been flying for a little over a year now but I've tried out probably about four to five different frames and out of those ones I've narrowed it down to something that I've really liked and of course, I started with a Skyliner um, and an iFlight. The Nod School was my very first one, but it was a bind of flight, so I didn't really build it. So I didn't count that as like my first frame. So the Skyliner was my first one. Um, it is now retired. Um, I've had some issues with it. A lot of stuff kept breaking on it. I've been bashing the shit out of it, and it just can't take the beating that um, it used to. So. I decided to just put it away and through on the frame that I've been using for almost like the past four to five months. So um, the frame that I'm talking about is the smoothie frame. Whoops, the smoothie frame. <laughs> so the smoothie frame is made by a guy named Fruity Tech FPV. He's got an Instagram. I don't know if he has Facebook. He's got some stuff. I'll put the Instagram link down so you can give him a follow. But I've been using this frame for about five months, maybe six. I can't really remember the first time I actually got one, but I've been using it frequently and a lot. And most of my other frames have been switched over to this frame now. Now, of course, frames are just frames, you know, it's just what you put all the hardware is what really counts. The thing is, is people have their preferences when it comes to frames and I have my preferences. Steel has its own preferences. I don't know, my friends have their own preferences. My cat has her own preferences of drones. She actually doesn't like me. Actually, she does. No, she does. She likes to taste me now. But when it comes to preference, this is the frame that I choose. The only place I've been able to find it is on Pyro Drones. So if you're looking around and stuff, looking for a frame, definitely check this one out. Now to start off, the center of this frame is really great. The way the arms are locked in is you have your two screws here. Well, I mean, you know, your one screw here in the corner that locks in. But then these two here, the arm actually has an open spot, so it slides in. So it's an easy in and out pull when it comes to replacing your arms. So you have no issues with that. Another thing about the arms that I like is the points on them. This has helped me save the arm so many times. The points on this reduces a lot of that impact. And the way that the prints are on here too, they're pretty thick. So that's gonna save more impact on it too. Uh, this one ended up splitting because I lost video while flying and it crashed into like a terrarium area and we had to rope it out so it took a pretty bad beating but the only other thing that broke when that happened was his back plate and that was it. It just splintered right where the um, where the standoff is so that's all that happened to it. I'm honestly surprised. I was expecting more of it broken but this is a really sturdy Frame. Other than that, it's basically a typical frame with the top and bottom plate and all that. And then the nice thing though is that there is a lot of space in it. So you can tell, I think these are 30 millimeters uh, standoffs. So you can definitely put a lot in here. There is literally just an open space right here. See, like, but definitely one thing that I know that I've had a problem with is space in the back with the Cadex Vista in the receiver. Now, this has enough space to put that and the receiver and the battery strap in without having any kind of like squish. And that's actually a good thing because I've had a lot of clubs that have squished it and the antenna just popped right out and that sucks. Now, to get into the hardware of it, I have your motors. My motors, I'm running the Axis flying motors, these things. I've put them on most of my quads now. It's great. I love flying them. These are the 1960 KB, so there's only two options, the 1960s and the 2010s if you're flying 6S. There are two other options for the 4S, but I figured out what they were. But these are powerful. Like, you will not realize until you actually fly these how powerful they are, and I love the punch out on these. They're super strong. Next is the flight controller and the ESC. The flight controller is the Brain FPV Radix 2. It's an H7 board works really great it's got a lot more power to it out of the box just plugging it in and stuff stock pids on betaflight it flies amazing the esc i have 
the Rush FBB 50 Amp Sports, I believe. And I love this ESC. It's the only ESC that I've tried besides T-Motor um, that I've run through my quads. And this is my like daily driver quad. So this ESC has gone through the works and it's really great with these motors. Most of my other quads, they run a, the Hobbywing 60 Amp. So that does have a lot more push to it. But uh, for some reason, the, like Sport just really gives a kick to it. I don't know what it is. Other than that, you have your Cadex Vista along with the Crossfire receiver in there, along with the antenna. And that's about it when it comes to this two battery straps because you know this in case and the nice Uma grip which I gotta clean off it's getting pretty dirty. Now when it comes to 3D printed parts you have your arm mounts and a couple other things. I think the arm mounts are the only thing that I use off of the file but there is a whole file on Thingiverse that I'll put a link down in the description. Other than that the nice thing about this one is if you happen to have an apex frame and you use those kind of mounts and you are not willing to buy a new one and you don't have a printer, you can easily swap those over to this frame. They fit perfectly on there. There's no difference in how they fit. It's a perfect fit. And I've used this one. This is actually an Apex action cam mount. So as you can see, it's perfectly well on there. You can see the, even the mounts on it. It looks like it goes with it anyway, but definitely Take a look into that if you're looking to get this frame and you can't find GoPro mounts that are different or anything or you're looking for a specific kind. Go through the Apex ones, you'll find some on there and be able to get some mounts on here. Uh, the skids on here are a bit different. I found these on Thingiverse. They're just some random ones, but they fit really well with this. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that one too if in case you want to like match with this. Looks really good. I think it looks good. Now when it comes to like backing up your word and stuff I mean I have to throw a flight video in here so of course we're going to transition over to the flight video in a bit but I just want to say thank you guys for watching I hope this gives you an idea of like what to get in case you're not looking for anything this is a really great frame highly recommend it if you're just not sure on what to get try it out it's a really great fun frame to try out peace guys I will see you in the next one and I hope y'all have a great day bye bye People look at me funny Cause I'm a little upsided since you left You can see the holes in me from miles away It's dust on my cheekbones Cause I haven't been smiling since you left You can see the holes in me from miles away Now you're gone, I gotta learn to walk again I love you.